Wrist check, guys, as we begin the presentation today. I am wearing the Vacheron Constantin Overseas 4500V stainless steel blue dial. Such a lovely watch. And today, we're not necessarily reviewing a watch, but we have some watch-related content. I've got some custom-made pens here from the Eagle Pen Company that have authentic parts from various watches that are all individually um, heat-treated, bent, and applied to the carbon fiber here on the pens. So they're very fun, and I think you guys would enjoy taking a look at these pens. So let me play, let me actually pick up one in front of the camera here and show you guys. Uh, this is the Frank Mueller Crazy Hours pink dial that again has been bent by hand and placed here along with some other components from the watch, from the movement. And uh, I mean, this is really fun. Each watch will take over 36 hours of hand treating and applying the individual components. Each watch has uh, over 100 components placed on the pen. Did I say watch? Each pen has over 100 watch components placed on the pen. Uh, sorry, I'm getting a little tongue tied here, but this is really fun. And each one of the caps is a screw down cap. Uh, the pens are weighty and hefty. This one is a traditional pen. I believe you can opt for this style or a ballpoint style. And I'm gonna show you one of those here. This is the ballpoint style. Um, yeah, just a really fun pen here with a little sleeve, stainless steel. It's all machined in the United States, produced in the United States. This is not a company that's buying kits from China and assembling it here in the United States. This is all done from the ground up here, which is something that I take a little bit of pride in and that I can respect as a resident of the United States. Now, given the nature, the custom nature of these pens, you know, the high quality, the assembly here, nationally, and then the, the inclusion of various components from Swiss luxury brands. This pen is, is obviously gonna be more expensive than your run-of-the-mill big pens that you get at, uh, at a grocery store, right? So uh, depending on the version that you opt for, you're gonna be spending between $1,300 and $1,500, which is a significant amount of money. And I know a lot of us watch guys, we like to spend silly amounts of money on luxury items that basically serve a purpose that could be served by a much lower price point item. So like the uh, VC that I'm wearing, I technically could be wearing a Timex, right? Or, uh, or another watch um, of a similar price point. But man, I like wearing the VC. You could be using a big pen to, to write things down, or you could get something custom and fun if you have the interest in it. And I found watch guys, you know, we share a lot of the same interests. A lot of us like custom pens. A lot of us like to golf. A lot of us like custom knives or firearms or whiskey. I mean, there are a few different uh, just different hobbies that a lot of us share and so it's fun to get a little bit of cross-pollinization here between various hobbies. So let me show you a couple of them and then we'll look at the box and everything that's included as we wrap up the video. This one is an Omega with um, the dial registers at the 12, the 6, and the 9 o'clock position. And then there is a Breitling Navitimer dial which is fun. I like this one quite a bit. I like the gilt tone or the gold tone of the branding and the subdials and how that ties in with some of the components of the movement. I think this one is very visually sharp, whereas the Frank Mueller is kind of in your face with that pink, which is still fun, uh, but not quite as cohesive, I think, as a unit. So, uh, and then, yeah, I showed you this one. This one does not have a dial here. This is just watch components. This may have been a prototype at some point but still very interesting. Let me slide this over to the side and show you an example of one pen if you were to purchase one. So let's open this up. You guys can see there is a little certificate here from the Eagle Pen Company. Kronos is the model or the line that these pens fall under. Swiss dials and hundreds of individual components delicately bent by hand and applied to carbon fiber. Signed by Jeremy Piper, president, and then this one is the Blancpain Moon Phase. 
So um, let me show you the Blanc Pond Moon Phase. It comes in a fun little microfiber uh, carrying pouch there. And then this, excuse me, let's keep this in focus. This is the watch. This is really nice. This is a nice dial here with the moon phase. And you guys can see there's the hour hand. It's fun to kind of spend some time and look at some of the components. There's the minute hand there. So uh, yeah, this is fun. Is it for everybody? Uh, no. Is it crazy value for money for a pen? Uh, you could make an argument just with the hand applied nature, the custom nature that there is, but you know, this definitely is a luxury item. And could you buy an Oris with the same amount that you would spend on one of these pens? Sure you could. I'm not trying to say that this is a crazy value proposition. I just think it's really interesting and a lot of you, uh, I believe, would enjoy looking at this content. So this one also have a, has a few spare components that are placed here with a uh, cork stopper. That's a lot of fun. This is an example of what one of the pens would come in from, again, the Eagle Pen Company. So let me slide these back in frame. Reach out if you have any questions, guys. Um, I'm gonna put links in the description where you guys can look at the various products. I mean, there are Vacheron Constantin pens, Paddock pens, Rolex pens, Omega, Breitling, Frank Mueller. There are a host of different companies and they're all a little bit different price depending on the dial and what's associated, but uh, very fun pens and I've had a great time in spending uh, a little bit of time with these pens, checking them out, filming this presentation. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Again, all the links are in the description. Thanks for watching today. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.